All right then, gang, so we've seen how to set up a brand new Next application, which comes with this Pages folder right here. And inside this Pages folder is where we create all of our page components. So each page in Next is driven by a React component. So for an About page, we'd have an About component. For a Contact page, we'd have a Contact component, etc. And each page component has its own file inside the Pages folder. So the file name and location of each page component is tied to the route for that particular page. For example, if I create a new file inside this called about.js, then next will automatically create a route forward slash about, which is the name of the file to serve up this component. So we create a React component for this page inside this file. So the route name is tied to the file name. If I created one called contact.js, then next would create a route forward slash contact for that component. So this all happens automatically under the hood. And there is one exception to the rule, this thing right here, index.js. Now next doesn't create a route forward slash index for this, which is the file name. It just creates the route forward slash. So all we have to do is go to the root of the domain to see this component right here. So that's the one exception to the rule. So let's first of all create this component. I'm going to say SFC and press tab to create a stateless functional component. And by the way, to do that, you need to install React Snippets. This one right here, simple React Snippets. Okay, so you can install that for that shortcut. And I'm going to call this about... And then inside this, and by the way, remember to export this at the bottom, export default, and then the name of the component. And inside this, I'm going to create a very simple template, which will have an H1, and that will say about, and underneath that, I'm going to do a paragraph tag, which is going to contain a load of lorem, and I'll duplicate that just to create a couple of those. All right, so I'm going to actually copy these two paragraph tags. In fact, let's just go to the home page and manually add those in. So P and then lorem tab and duplicate just so we've got a bit more content on the home page as well. So now we have two component files here, index and about. So we can see the home page, but now if we go to forward slash about, then we should see the about component page as well. Cool. So there's another thing we can do inside this pages folder, and that is to create subfolders. So if I was to create a new folder called ninjas, for example, I could create page components inside here. And let's do one called test.js, and we'll create a stateless functional component for this called test. And then inside here, I'm just gonna do a div, and then inside that an h1 that says test, like so and save it. Now, what do you think the route will be for this page component? Well, it's not going to be just forward slash test because now it's inside this subfolder. When we have a subfolder, then next we'll create a route based on that subfolder as well. So it would be in this case forward slash ninjas, then forward slash whatever the file is called. So I could go to forward slash ninjas right here, forward slash test and that would be the route for this component okay now again if we create one called index.js here and i'm going to boilerplate this component as well i'm going to call this ninjas because this will ultimately be the page that lists the ninjas and inside here i'm going to do a div and inside that an h1 that says all ninjas oops let me just make this h1 first all ninjas like so. So the route for this will just be forward slash ninjas, not then forward slash index, just forward slash ninjas forward slash, much like index over here. When we have a file named index, it creates a root path for that file. So if we go to forward slash ninjas, now it will serve up this component. And I'm going to show you that forward slash ninjas like so. And now we can see this component, okay? So hopefully you can see how we might structure our page components now and how Next.js generates routes automatically for these pages. And that's how simple it is to create a multi-page website with Next.